All right, we might be a few days late to this update, but we are back. The update got delayed till the night before my flight, so I didn't have time to go and record and edit and upload a whole video. But we're finally back home, and there's some new weapons here in Cold War that we need to get done. So I've already gone ahead and I picked up the battle pass so we can get these new guns. And I think we're gonna be using the EM2 today. So I've seen very little gameplay of this gun. Uh, hopefully it's good. I guess we'll find out today. But as you can see, this is level one. I'm level one. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in a game and see how it does. Oh, and there's a new map. Echelon and Gunfight Showroom. Oh, they're still nuke jacked. That is concerning. Let's hop on Echelon, I guess. Now, if you guys are new here, what we do is whenever a new gun comes out, we'll hop into a game. I'll show you guys my first reactions to the gun, figuring everything out, seeing how it works. Then we grind it all the way to dark matter. And then afterwards, I'll give you guys my review of the weapon. Ooh, okay, here we go. New map. I have not seen any of Echelon. That dome up there reminds me of the map dome but i have not seen this map at all yet let's go ahead and cross over this this looks dangerous made it over and we instantly got bopped but this is weird i feel like so far this gun kind of seems a little odd to be honest oh wait Oh, it was doing hefty damage there. I just wasn't hitting my shots. But seeing weapons start with a scope on it usually means they're going to be a tactical rifle. It's weird that this thing is an AR. Like we've seen it happen with the AUG. <laughs> I think that might be it actually. But we, I don't think we've seen an AR that comes with a, a scope already on it. So very interesting. Ooh, no health on him. Go ahead. Try to peek me. Oh my God. They cover. That was awful. Okay, not a good start so far with this gun. We definitely need to amp it up. So I know this thing has some firing power. I've seen it do damage. I just need to finish. There we go. We finally get a kill. Just barely survived too. I need to throw stims on this class. We're, we're getting messed up currently. We are two and four. Not the KD you want to see, but I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on me being rusty on keyboard and mouse. I've been playing controller the past few weeks on my mobile setup. So I'll probably take a little bit of getting used to, but there we go, picking up a kill. Oh, come on. No health on him. Oh, you know what I need? I need to hit a Tommy. I think that'll help me get back into shape. Oh my God, we hit it right away. Oh, let's go. It was the power of the Tommy. Let's go. Already on a three times. I know this guy down here wants some. <laughs> That's what I get. Oh, my aim could not be worse. Oh, let's go. Oh, this thing just needs a little more ammo and it's going to be crazy because 20 rounds in this thing, it can get a kill, maybe even two if I don't miss a shot. But right now I'm not managing my ammo well enough. It's not going to matter once we get this thing leveled up and get an extended mag on it. This thing's firepower seems really good. It, it does a hefty amount of damage. Oh, he had to reload too. Let's go. We take those. The hell happened anyone down here not looking like it let's sneak across oh actually let's take this little outer way hopefully we don't slip hey pal good night all right we're 14 and 9 we've turned it around a little bit so far this gun seems pretty good honestly the firepower seems good the fire rate is decent the only thing it's it's really missing is an extended mag so once we level this up it's good to go there we go easy kill not an easy kill there Get out of here. Oh, dang. I forget the hand cannons in the game. Oh, also, I think there's a flamethrower in the game too. I think I'm gonna throw that on uh, once we go do our last game for it. So hopefully I remember, but we definitely gotta try that out. Oh, can I make this jump? Oh, we did it. Two people up here. That one was already low health. We got 10 bullets. Let's reload. Managing our ammo. Oh, barely survived that one. We actually had a decent amount of health, but I was not confident in that gunfight. Shouldn't have been confident in that one either. Put that hand cannon down, sir. Thank you. Let's go. That guy had a flamethrower. Got instantly taken out. I'm going to die. Let's stim. Don't push me. Oh, he pushed me. All right. We, we went 23 and 16 there. Not the greatest. I uh, definitely had a weak performance with this gun. Feels pretty good. I feel like once I get used to it and I get used to, you know, being back home and playing here, uh, this thing's going to fry for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing dark matter and I'll see you guys then.
All right, as you just saw in that last clip, we did get the EM2 Dark Matter, and I, I'm absolutely exhausted. For whatever reason, that's gonna take me way longer than any other gun in this series to get Dark Matter. Uh, I don't know why. It didn't feel like it was awful. It's it's pretty mid, comparable to a lot of ARs. Uh, it's you know, nothing extraordinary, but it's not awful. But for whatever reason, it just took me four hours to get it done. And if you want to see it, I did stream it over on Twitch. And when I go for the Tech 9, I will be streaming that as well. Anyways, this is what it looks like with the gold camo. They have really good coverage on this. They've been doing a great job on getting nice coverage on the DLC weapons. I really like the all gold mag. I think it really makes this gun. And then here we go. We have diamond, which is just a better version of gold. Very nice, very clean. And then dark matter just looks awesome on this uh i kind of wish right here it, it would kind of connect but i it, it's fine it, it looks pretty good let's go ahead and see how it does in game but before that this is the build i'm going to be using i have a mill stop reflex socom eliminator task force barrel ember sighting point bruiser grip 40 round mag airborne elastic wrap and the cqb pad and since it's still just newt jacked we're gonna hop on echelon here and i'll show you guys what this gun is like when it's fully leveled up all right this is what it looks like in game with dark matter it honestly looks way better in game than does in the gunsmith uh, you see a whole lot of the camo and now hopefully we can make some plays with it now i did do the entire grind for this weapon in hardcore but i know people like gauging the weapon in core as you know everything's a one-shot kill in hardcore but right there pretty decent close range pretty fast kill right there not so much all right now let's see what we can do with this if we play a little smarter i say that as i go right into the fire all right now for real this time we're actually gonna play smarter there we go. That's a nice kill. Got a decent amount of damage there. There's going to be another person coming soon. I can feel it. Oh my god. All right, there we go. That killed pretty fast. I couldn't tell if he got shot at by somebody else there before he died, but that was a pretty fast time to kill. Let's see this guy. Gone. Oh, I didn't even know that was a spot up there. Okay. You learn something new every day. But overall, like I said, this gun is pretty, you know, middle of the pack. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of people comparing it to the AK. Uh, I don't quite see it. I think it might be a little worse than the AK. So it's right around that tier. Nothing too great. Nothing bad about it. Just like a, a boring AR, honestly. But its fire rate isn't bad. It's right in between like full auto and like tap fire, basically. Uh, it's time to kill. Pretty decently fast. As you see right there, with me missing every single shot. Uh, its mobility is decent. I've been hearing rumblings that this is a really good gun in Warzone. So I might have to test that out myself. But, you know, every time a new gun is released in COD, everyone's like, oh, it's this thing's broken in Warzone. So uh, that might just be something they do on purpose. Make it crazy in Warzone for like the first week, first few days or something, and then nerf it. But overall, I haven't seen anything too crazy from it. My biggest takeaway from this gun is this just kind of looks like the QBZ's cousin. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. And I think I got some pretty decent clips with it. I didn't... Ooh. Get owned. Or fall to your death. Idiot. Now, I do think I did get some pretty decent clips with it. I don't think it's nearly as many as usual. I was uh, a little distracted by streaming, not clipping nearly as much as I should have. But I was mainly doing this so we can get the weapon all the way up to max level. That way, when we go into zombies, we can get a dark aether pretty quickly. Which I should be doing pretty soon here. Ooh, get that kill. Nope. Oh, the melee kill? Melee might do more damage than this thing does, like, normally. But if you're looking for an AR to do for Dark Matter, for Diamond on your ARs, I don't know if I'd recommend this gun. This is kind of on the brink. Ooh, flamethrower in there. Jeez. But you can kind of just, like, plug and chug it in with any other just random AR, and I don't know if you'll notice much of a difference. This is honestly, like, probably the most vanilla weapon they've added into the game. I kind of wish it would have been, like, a burst or, like, fully auto or something. It's just, like, it doesn't do much. This is, like, a, like, tofu the gun. I've probably, a, like, disrespectful to this gun, but this, it, it kind of plays, like, how tofu looks. Like, it's just bland. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, I thought I was gonna get feed. You know what? What worked last time is I got a nice Tommy. That warmed me up. Let's get another one. I missed it immediately. And we're dead. There we go. Oh, and someone behind me. There we go. Nice hit fire on it. And didn't get the second kill. In core, I'm having a hard time following up more than one kill with it. It's honestly probably because of my poor play. But if the weapon was really OP, as people are saying it is in Warzone, like if if the stats somehow transferred from Warzone to here, the gun would definitely be carrying me. But I'm pretty like average or probably honestly even below average at multiplayer 
And a good way to tell if a gun is OP or not is if whoever's using it is bad and they start popping off with it. But I'm struggling to get more than one kill in a row, basically. Like right there, that was awful. Uh, obviously, my play does come into effect, but you can tell if a gun is really, really overpowered or just is good. It tends to carry the player more than the player carries the gun. And right now, I am not doing this gun any favors. But we do have a flamethrower, so hopefully I don't die right here. Hold on, let's get one kill. Going with a flamethrower. He instantly saw me and killed me. I lost the flamethrower. Oh no, I still have it. Sick. So let's try this. Tomahawk down the stairs. Die. All part of the plan. Trust me. Tomahawk into the window. Window guy's not peeking. All right, let's flamethrower. There we go. And that hardly did anything. What? Even the flamethrower's mid. All right, so my first day back for this update. Not going the greatest. Weapons mediocre. The flamethrower even seemed mediocre. And the grind just took a long time. It's 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 put a bad taste in my mouth, I think. But if I had to rate this weapon out of 10, I'd probably give it a five. It, it's just so mid that it's even mid on the scoring. 25 and 32. Very poor performance from me. Oh no. Now to even to add insult to injury, I just noticed that whole time my face cam was off, so I apologize for that. But I think we're gonna have to end the video there. Overall, this gun is average. Like very average so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of content throughout the week and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later